Hey everybody, welcome to the Savvy Spa Boss Live. And today we are going to be getting into the five things potential candidates really want to see in a job, job opportunity that you might have for them. So, I mean, as you guys all know, well, maybe you're new to this uh, community, to this uh, channel, to this page, um, but most know, but if you don't know, I um, I have, I'm very passionate about staffing when it comes to the spa industry. I've created Spa Temps, an online staffing uh, platform, an on-demand staffing platform that connects spa owners to service providers in real time and on an as-needed basis. One minute. I just realized my door was open. And I've also, I also offer more permanent recruiting services for spa owners. So I'm really passionate about it. I know that it's a struggle out there. I know it's a struggle to find staff. It's a struggle to um, keep staff. It's a struggle to kind of grow with them. And it's, it's, a, it's just a struggle in so many different ways. And if you're coming on live, I'd love you to type live in the comments. And if you are catching this on the replay, type replay in the comments. And I want to know, do you have staff? And has the struggle been real for you like it has been for me over the years? Um, so we're going to break it down today. The top five things that a candidate might be looking for when they are coming to you or for a possible job opportunity or whether they're, you know, interview like whether they're actually in front of you interviewing whether they are you know just seeing your um you know seeing your ad in wherever you're placing your ad whatever it is these are the things that they inherently want out of a position with you so one of the biggest sort of reality checks for me when I started my spa just over seven years ago is that I mean I thought that I was just going to have people lining up around the door to come and work for me. I just, that was one of my most naive things getting into business was just like, well, I mean, staffing, I mean, how can that be an issue? I mean, you just, we post an opportunity and people are going to come and apply for it and they're going to come and work for us. And reality is it just was not that simple. So the truth of the matter is now spot owners are almost in a position of having to sell themselves to the candidates just as much, if not more, depending on the situation, than the candidates actually have to sell themselves to us. So whether you're watching live or the replay, I'd love to know if that is an aha moment you've had in your business when it comes to staffing. Are you kind of a kind of taken aback by the fact that you find yourself, find that you're having to sell yourself more than you just evaluating whether they're a good fit for your team. I'd love to know in the comments if that, if you can identify with that. But the top five things that candidates are looking for in a position with you, yes, compensation is one of them. But that's the thing. It is not everything, but compensation is key. I mean, yes, we are all human. We are all in this industry to make money. We are all here to be able to live comfortably. So compensation is one of them. Is the pay going to be worth their while? So that is one. Probably the probably one of the biggest ones, but not 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 so far past the other four. So number two. They want an opportunity for growth. They want to know that they are in a position where it can be going somewhere, that it can take them to where they want to go inside within their career. They want to know that there is potential for them to um, develop as an as a service provider, a develop as a, a person. Um, so whether that's, you know, training, skill set, um, other job opportunities that might come down the line, um, you know, that's really important to them. Number three, they want to know that they can be rewarded based on their performance. So whether that is um, 
commission, whether that is a bonus structure, whether that is um, tier, tiered um, pay scales, whatever it is, and there's a lot of different methods into how you can compensate your staff. That is not what we're going over in this video today. But the bottom line is they want to know that if they are performing, performing at certain levels, that they can be rewarded for that effort. And honestly, from a spot owner's perspective, you want to have that in place too, because you want them to want to be able to kind of like step up and bring it, you know, 100% each and every day. You want them to kind of, you know, be rock stars and not just kind of get complacent in the workplace. Um, number four is they want to feel like they matter. They want to be acknowledged. They want to be appreciated. And actually, prior to doing this, I just wanted to like check in again um, inside of the community to say like, hey, like, what do you guys value besides just money and compensation? And hands down, this was like, besides the whole money thing, this was like top tier. They want to have, they want to have they want to be acknowledged. They want to be recognized. They want to be appreciated. And like, they want to feel like they matter. Like, so that if somebody is coming to you and is applying for your position and, you're, and you really like them, it's important to let them know that they're, what they're becoming a part of in your, oops, almost fell off my chair. Um, what they're becoming a, a part of in your, in your business. And number five is they want to be a part of something that they can believe in. They want to be a part of something that they can get on board with, that they feel like they're a part of a mission that is in line with their morals, their values, their um, you know, ideals as the professionals that they are. So when you are interviewing, whether even in your job descriptions, you're posting, like if you're, wherever you're posting your job descriptions, you need to speak to each and every one of these, these areas if you want your spa to be the one that stands out for them. It's so important. Um, and I'm going to post a link to a blog article that it's an oldie but a goodie. We wrote it last year, but it's all about how to find the right candidate, the best questions to ask, and how to position your, your business. And we are still going to go into a little bit of that now, but that one basically covers so much. It's definitely worth um, checking out. Um, so all in all, they want to know like, and we want to know as spot owners that we're going to get people coming into our doors that appreciate and can value the opportunity to grow and develop this as a career, not just a job. That's really, really super important. Um, and I just realized I want to make sure that I'm not missing any questions here. I will check back in just uh, a second here. Not so, not so far. And okay, so when it comes to this, so how can you really position your business in a light that is going to set you apart? And if you want to be that business that they can believe in, that they can, because if they believe in you and they feel like you have their back and that you can take their careers to the next level, they are going to be loyal to you. They are going to want to help you grow your business. They are going to want to bring it 100% each and every day. So the first thing that you need to do is really understand, like, what is your business core values? What do you guys, like, as spot owners, what do you believe in? What, you know, what... Um, what values do you have that your whole team can agree on and say like, yes, this is who we are. This is the fiber of our being, our business being. And this is the environment and atmosphere we are going to create and keep consistently delivering that atmosphere and environment for anybody that is on your team, anybody that's currently on your team, anybody that's coming into your team, that this is, this is what they can expect. So in order to be able to portray that to them, first, you need to know, you know, who, who you are as business, as far as a team building environment. So this was kind of a, a quick 
live today because I'm not going to go into too much more detail beyond that. Um, because really, those are just the five things you need to consider. And a little piece of homework for you guys to do is if you are looking for staff, I want you to, especially, I mean, compensation is a pretty easy one, but I want you to jot some notes and really ask yourself, you know, what opportunities for growth do prospective candidates actually have within my business really write it down because it might just be something you you know you have it there are opportunities but you haven't highlighted it you haven't really thought about it to that extent so I want you to write down every opportunity that you have within your business um, uh, two I want you to really look at whether or not you are providing ways to reward your staff based on hard work. Like if they sell more, are they going to receive more? Are they going to, you know, do you have other ways of recognizing performance? Um, just kind of figure out or ask yourself, you know, what is what does your business currently offer in the area of rewarding them for effort put out? And it could be anything. And okay, so then the next thing I want you to, I want you to write down exactly everything you do as a business owner that, and as a business in general, what do you guys do or what can you do to really create a system that is going to make it easy for you to consistently acknowledge and recognize and appreciate your staff? This might be something that is really lacking. It's so easy to overlook um, and you always got to keep yourself in check. So I want you to, as part of the homework, like I said, I want you to write down everything that you either are doing or can be doing better in that department. And finally, I want you to kind of get clear. I want you to write down, you know, what is your mission? What do you believe in as a company? What kind of team atmosphere is at your core? What, what are you going to be delivering to existing and prospective team members? And you guys, the reason why writing all this down, if you are looking for staff, is going to be so helpful because if you write it down and you can look at it and go like, yeah, I mean, this is really, this is really true. And this is what we have to offer. Then that is going to naturally attract the right clientele and give you the tools and the verbiage before you actually are one-to-one -one with them or even over the phone or over email, it's going to give you all the tools before you actually get into that position, being able to say like, hey, here's what we have to offer. And it's more than just money. It's like so much more of, of an experience. So anyways, um, and also if you are looking for additional help in your staffing department, we are offering a permanent staffing solution so we can help recruit on your behalf. And what that means is we help you really go through these questions and really kind of hone in on what it is, what it is you uh, can offer potential candidates. Um, you know, we basically help you do all that homework for you and really figure out what it is about you that should put you at the top of every candidate's list. And then we actually go through the marketing, the finding of um, the finding of potential candidates, and we also do preliminary screening to make your life so much easier. So if you want help recruiting, if you need staff in your business and you haven't had a lot of luck, let me know in the comments below, or you can email me directly at susan at spotemps.ca and we can get that process moving along. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. As always, my mission is to bring you more passion and profitability in your business and your life. Uh, thank you so much for being here week after week and I will see you soon. Bye everybody. I realize I'm not on the page. I said bye already, but then now I'm gonna have to go <laughs> navigate my way back to the screen before I actually end the meeting. Okay, now for real. Bye everybody. Okay, not for real. I still needed another button. Okay. Now for real.